everyone. Thanks for tuning back in once again to the Queen Amadai Shakur TV show. I am your host, Queen Amadai Shakur. So as you're coming in, please feel free to go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Be sure to click that notification bell and click word all so that you're notified each time the Queen Goddess goes live. Now, if you're wondering who this nefarious person is on the screen, this is Augustine Gladney. Now, she has reportedly confessed to abuse of a court, and she did so via a text message. You see, her ex-boyfriend, Ernest Smith, who's 38 years old, uh, said that his mother's ashes came up missing in the urn that they were in on June the 3rd of 2020. Now, he had no idea where they were. He filed a police report. The police had no idea. They had no clues or anything, no suspects. And then he just so happened to hear two years later, right? He just so happened to hear back in May, um, Gladney on the phone with her daughter admitting that she had in fact taken the urn and thrown the ashes of his mother into a lake. So he then got her to confess via a text. And so once she did that, he kept that as evidence and went back to the police. This fool has been arrested and charged with abuse of a court. Now, with that all being said, if she is found guilty and convicted, she can be uh, she can face a maximum of four thousand dollars in fines and a year in prison. Uh, hence the reason she's sitting there looking like that with her face all, you know, uh, balled up on this picture. She was laughing at first, thought it was all fun and game. And there's actually a video of someone throwing ashes into a lake. Now, I don't know if this is her or not, uh, because they have said they hadn't been able to verify whether or not it was her. That's what the police have said. Some people have said that it was a comedian doing a skit. I don't know. But either way, you know, people do anything for clicks and views these days, so you never know. But at the end of the day, I'll say this. First of all, for someone to throw away someone's loved one's ashes because they're mad, because they were dating, but their relationship was clearly on the rock, according to Ernest. If she wasn't happy with him, she thought it was cheating or whatever. I mean, it just bleak. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just so low down and wicked to do something like that. Honey, I don't know what I would do if somebody did that to me. But uh, anyway, I'm going to go to the footage. And I'm not going to play the audio because they have a song playing. And I don't need any copyright issues. All right. So anyway, everyone, please get those likes up. Please like and share. Uh, thank you in advance. And the caption says, he cheated so I threw his mother's ashes in the river, the lake. Oh, so crazy. You know what? People would do anything to get on social media and just get likes and views and all that stuff. It's also crazy. Now, like I said, this story had died down because this actually happened two years ago. They had no leads in the case. It just recently got more, got all this attention after that video that you just saw went viral. But anyway, well, she's been cold busted and I'm quite sure uh, Mr. Smith doesn't have any any words for her, at least not any kind. So let me know what y'all think about this, because I think it's also the problem. Who does that? How does that even cross your mind? But you know what? Vindictive people, when you tick them off, they will sit around somewhere just thinking and twiddling their thumbs, honey, until they come up with the most nefarious thing they can possibly think of just to get rid of, you know, just to pick you off, just to get under your skin. Also, in other news, let's talk about Jermichael Jones. This idiot uh, killed the Atlanta rapper Trouble. Now, he supposedly killed this man on June the 5th. He fatally shot him. He's now in custody after his mother got him to go ahead and talk to the police. And then he agreed to turn himself in. Now, he's facing a slew of charges. Now, they say supposedly the reason he killed the rapper is because he was upset because the man's dating his ex-girlfriend or was dating his ex-girlfriend. Word of advice. If somebody doesn't want you, just move on and find someone else. Why would you throw away your whole life and then take someone else off this planet just because, of, just, just wipe them off the face of the, of the planet just because you're mad because somebody doesn't want you? You think killing somebody is going to make them want you? They're still not going to. If you think you're hurting them by killing the person that they're dating, you're really going to hurt yourself even worse because you're going to be locked up behind bars and that person's going to go off and find someone else. So how does that even make sense? I never understand the logic of these people, but you know what? I do believe that the types of people who carry out these things are very often narcissists. And you see, narcissists cannot take no for an answer. 
They are all about control. They are also often very possessive. And they want everything to go their way. And when it doesn't, these are the results of it very often. And so anyway, they say, according to 11 Alive, Jamichael Jones, who's 33 years old, was at his mother's house and she convinced him to speak on the phone to deputies. And that's when he agreed to turn himself in, which he did at 1 a.m. this morning. So he's now facing charges for home invasion, felony murder, aggravated assault, and this is all tied to the murder of Trouble. And he was denied bond by a judge. Now, so with that all being said, honey, he's got a whole lot that he's going to be going through in the next uh, coming month. Let me show his picture on the screen. All over some woman who didn't even want him. This is also ridiculous. This is never the thing to do. So that's him. And he's going to have plenty of time to think about the foolishness that he's gotten himself into and how he took somebody's life. And trouble hadn't done anything to him. He probably didn't even know that man. And, and another thing is, why is it that when people, you know, are caught cheating or they catch someone cheating or the person leaves them and is with someone else, why are they always angry at the innocent person who has nothing to do with their relationship drama? And their own foolishness. They go out here and kill these people, stalk them, harass, all kinds of craziness. They always want to blame the wrong person. At the end of the day, it's also ridiculous to me. But anyway, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think about uh, these two stories. All right. And until next time, beloveds, I will talk to you all again.